Anyway, we've got the Independent now, and all those annoying lefties who were verified on Twitter before Musk took over won't have blue ticks anymore because they can't afford $8 a month, Nick. <laughs> yeah, a bit of banter here. Elon Musk Twitter finally pulls plug on verified blue ticks. He said he'd do it, and he has done it. They're all fuming. Femi's writing and furious tweets. And it's quite funny because people like Rachel Maddow, you know, big massive news reader in America, 10 million followers, doesn't have a blue tick. Don Lemon, uh, James O'Brien in this country. Bill Gates, Boris Johnson. So everyone's losing their blue tick. And weirdly, I've got one. So it's a strange reverse because I got one just because you can post longer videos. Yeah. I wanted to post my Andrew Bridgen interview. Someone then tried to get me sued for it. So that worked out. But now it's a weird <laughs> thing. It's like a total revolution on Twitter where the blue ticks will be the most supporting pro-free speech people. Yeah. And the non-blue ticks were all the sort of weirdo legacy media types. I think a lot of celebrities are leaving Twitter anyway. I think people are scrambling away from it. He's... he's, he's leaving such a bad smell around his own business. Really? I don't know why it seems so. Look, I don't mind what he does. It's his business. He can do what he likes. And it's, no one's holding a gun to your head to be on it. But I just feel like there's so much negative response to his own business. Things like, like what, this. What, I mean, what have you seen on Twitter that's, that's so... No, no, I just, I just see people just, uh, saying, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, and so I, you see people being negative. See, you see left-wing people being negative. And, and just leaving. It. I think, like Rachel Maddow. Rather maybe, than you, maybe, go, you don't see any ac the actual hate. You just see people responding to the yes, exactly. imaginary and, hate. And Maddow might not require a Bluetooth because she's not even on it anymore. I, mean, I think maybe they're... You know, their, their assistants are writing t uh, Twitter feed and stuff, but I don't think people really followed as much. You just yeah. tried to corner Scott like Musk did with James Clayton. Like, you just lied. That's what <laughs> you just did. But, um, I think they've moved on to, to TikTok I, and other I don't think they've moved yet, but I think there is a danger. Feeds. If Musk keeps doing this brilliant banter, like when he, he put 69% government funded on CBC's profile, very yeah. funny stuff. But there is a danger, I suppose, if you alienate enough of these dweebs, mm -hmm. they'll all leave and it becomes Gab or Parler. But right. so far it hasn't, and so far it's, it's great. Yeah, I think it's the only place to be. Anyway, 